Welcome back, pre lovers. It's Clancy with 1013 Vintage, where we talk quality thrifting and all things fancy. And if money isn't an issue and you have no problem buying these items at mainstream stores, that is fine. But I am here to share and talk about practical shopping where we can purchase things, luxury goods at a fraction of the cost. So stick around if you want to find out how. You have to shop the pre-love market. <laughs> I have been shopping pre-loved forever. And although I do um, go to some mainstream stores to buy things straight from straight out the stores, um, I really have found um, my most excitement and joy shopping pre-loved. One, I can um, save so many dollars with shopping pre-loved. It's sustainable shopping, which even when I'm finding materials and pieces of clothing that I can rework, it's still saving and it's also um, saving the planet as well. I have gotten so much joy finding home goods. Comment below and let me know, do you find any home goods at the thrift store? Because guys, normally I open up my videos with a luxury candle. I did not find any luxury candles. However, I have been talking about marble for months. And every time I'm finding marble, I know if you guys have been watching, I said I was going to stop because I got so much marble for the kitchen. But guys, let me show you some items that I found. Look at how large this piece of marble is. This is actually an ashtray, but I am going to rework this somewhere in my house because this is just beautiful. It's when I tell you this is probably about five pounds, this is gorgeous. Look at the lines in the marble. This was only $5. When you're finding something like this in a mainstream store, um, this is probably over $100 for this piece. Love this. Now, actually, when I was walking down the aisle, I found these other two pieces from Restoration Hardware um, that they were beautiful. Let me show you these. So this dish, oh my God, listen, just look how beautiful this yellow glass, is it marble? This is just, oh, it's just so heavy. And this beautiful candle holder, like look at this. Can you just tell, look at the green in this. Now, obviously I would probably put a small candle in here or a large tea light and just let it, let the light reflect. Um, through the marble, but these are from Restoration Hardware, and I got this for four bucks. The Restoration Hardware tag is still on there, and I got this for, I think this was 50% 50, 50 off. I got this for five. Look at these. So I got these three pieces, these two and the marble, um, Ashtray. I'm going to find them a, a nice spot in my house. And um, I know folks have been inboxing me and asking me to really add some of these pieces to my um, my website so I can sell them. But um, I haven't I haven't collected enough pieces to start selling home goods. But nonetheless, if you guys are not familiar with my website, please take a look. 1013vintage.com. I'm going to put the, the link below. Um, check out some of the things we would love for you to support. And mostly it's some of the finds that I've been collecting um, throughout um, my thrift and estate finding. Um, but let's get into some more stuff. So I stopped at Savers the other day. And I actually only really go through the store Savers because lately I haven't really been 
finding a lot of things, pieces of clothing, or even home goods at Savers. What I can tell you is that I love going through the accessories, um, meaning like the small accessories, jewelry. And I also like going to the purses because you guys know, if you guys have been watching, I love a vintage, a vintage leather or suede extra bag. And I haven't found one in some time, but I'm still on the hunt. What I did get are these beautiful, fun earrings. Look at these. This right here is just perfect for the spring, summer. Oh, I actually, this actually matches what I have on now. You see the little yellow? Look at this. And again, um, the Afro is Afroing right now. And I love how I have statement earrings to go with my my hair. Today, I'm wearing some pineapples. I got these actually from Anthropology. Um, but yes, I love little pieces of um, um, earrings that serve as like a drop earring with my afro. And you guys have seen this. I actually thrifted this probably like last month. This is the Ralph Lauren cable knit sweater. I think I got this for like four bucks. And I mean, this is just the perfect pop of color to wear with some jeans. And it, it still gives you the, the look of just being put together. But these are just perfect. I actually could just switch these out and just wear this as a look as well. Love these. Now we're gonna get into some clothes because I actually found this hooded dress. I found this this kind of dress uh, years ago and I ended up selling it. I think I found one in cream, but this one is blue. This is the hooded dress. Um, it's by Tove and it has the cutout all the way down. And I mean, you probably could just wear this with some leggings, some jeans. I actually thought about my leather bag that looks very similar like a, a Birkin um, that I got from Savers like probably like five years ago. And it's so small. It's like a little small uh, two handle satchel bag, which you guys know I love that those kind of bags. Um, wait, let me, let me grab it. Okay, so this is the hooded dress and this is the bag. Guys, you guys have seen this. If you have been watching me, um, I showed this probably sometime last year. I found this leather bag with feet in this electric blue. Looks very similar to a Birkin style, but this is by the brand Zenith. And um, I just love I just love a two handle. And this bag is small enough for me to just carry throughout the day. It also has um, a crossbody um, strap. So I don't really wear the strap with these kind of bags, but this is just perfect with this. I can't wait to just go out um, and wear this probably during the day. So the next item I found was this vintage jacket. And you know what? It really reminded me of a piece that you would see in anthropology stores. I love the colors. I'm thinking of wearing this without the shoulder pads. If you can see just how I'm holding it up, the shoulder pads are quite like, they're like stiff. I feel like if I cut this, this will actually just um, drop down my shoulder and, and give more of a relaxed look. But this is a vintage jacket and you can see like the buttons here. They have like a little, it's like a bronze tone button. And I just thought this was really cute. I could just wear like a tank top or like a black little crop top underneath it with some jeans, you know, just making it look fun. I can tell you that the more that I've been out thrifting, what I try to do is look for more outfits, whether it's with a blazer. You know, I automatically have like jeans um, in my wardrobe, but I also am trying to look for shoes that would go with certain outfits. And I actually found a shoe 
that could go with this. Guys, I found these Zara, and yes, I'm still getting Zara at the thrift. But when I find something like this, this is like a mesh booty. Look at this heel with like a um, like a patent leather heel. And I thought this would be super cute to wear. It's very, um, it's a heel. It's very feminine. Um, it gives a little sex appeal to the to the foot, um, and it's also covering the toes, just in case you wanted to, to not disclose your toes um, in the evening. Um, but I love how it has like this little black piping right here. But yes, I'm getting these shoes and these shoes were barely, I don't even think they were worn. Look at the bottom. Look at this. And this is what I love about finding shoes, um, especially if they haven't really been worn. I tend to try to come bring them home brush them off with like um with a little chemical that I've kind of like mixed together and I always wipe the inside of the shoes with like um like a, a alcohol solution um just making sure like I'm bringing my hand all the way down with like a cotton or a towelette um with alcohol and just cleaning out um and sanitizing the the shoes but I actually just started um, my fixation with um, thrifting shoes because I'm coming across so many luxury pairs of shoes that I can't even give them up. I mean, the next pair, let me show you what I got next. I found these beautiful shoes for $9. I mean, if you guys have been even looking at my shorts, I get so excited when I'm sometimes in the store and I have to make a quick video. But I found these Manolo Blahnik shoes. And look, it has like a cork, um, a cork heel. And can I just tell you, um, look how, I mean, they have been worn, but not to the point where it's just destroyed. And these are perfect for the season. I mean, I love the fact that I am adding another pair of Manolos to my collection and I'm not breaking the bank, which is why the pre-loved market is just so, um, it's so hot right now, I'm telling you. If you take your time and you go into a thrift store to kind of look for some luxury pieces, you will get lucky because a lot of folks are throwing their items away to get new, um, new pieces for their wardrobe and I have no problem um, wearing pre-loved pieces because I've been doing it for years. I grew up um, going into the thrift stores and um, you know years ago it was like the stigma. If you went to thrift stores you couldn't afford certain things and it wasn't even the fact that we couldn't afford anything. It's what we could find in the thrift stores that were luxury um, pieces that could stand over time, you know, hence the, the marble pieces. I mean, these pieces I could always collect or if I wanted to purchase them, I could always pass them down to um, some friends and family. Let me show you what's next. Okay, so my next piece, guys, and you guys know, I'm loving green. I love green. Um, to the point where I'm actually continually buying dresses. This is another um, dress that I found. It's green and I don't, I, I would love to say that it's satin, but I don't think it's satin. I wanna say it may be polyester, but um, this is by Petal and Pup. And I don't know if it's polyester. The only thing is, let's see. It is. Dang, it's a hundred percent polyester. Ugh. Okay, so I try not to get a lot of polyester pieces. Um, I just don't like the way it, it, it feels on my skin. But um, I did try this on. I just love how this, um, you know, 
this looks on and this is perfect i mean just a little pop of green it's perfect for dinner it's perfect to wear to like a wedding or um, any kind of event evening or day event green um, is always in and i love that they've double layered um, this part so if you did want to wear it without a bra um, it doesn't reveal much so love this I found these super cute pants. Oh my goodness. This is by the brand Young Fabulous and um, um, if it, is it Young Fabulous and Broke, I think. These, look at these. And I am adding these pieces to like my spring summer collection. Like I can wear this with a t-shirt and some sneakers and really not feel um, like like raggedy in a sense. Like I like wearing pieces and, and looking put together, even when I'm going to um, Marshalls or to the grocery stores, um, just wearing something like this with like a jean jacket. I actually thrifted a pair of trainers. I, I normally don't wear like the new balances. I think, what are they, the 574s? I found some for like $5 and they were like a neutral, wait, Huh? They were like a neutral color. I paid $5 for these. Look at these. These haven't even been worn. Oh, love these. And you know what I really liked about these? They had like, um, this, this looked like a little cheetah print <laughs> right there, right in the, in the end part. And also, um, these are the 574s. And I got these for 50% off of $10. I'm telling you, thrifting is it. Like, I'm, I'm showing you guys full outfits that I could probably wear um, probably throughout the week. And this is why I'm addicted. The other thing, I'm finding fur. Yes, it is springtime. But this was $6 and I could not give it up. I couldn't. I actually told the cashier that I didn't want it. And then I said, oh my gosh, it's $6. Like, this is just super cute. It does have the leather collar. And this is by Andrew Mark. And listen, it's just, Look at that. Just look. Natural look. It's the it's authentic, genuine fur. And I mean, you could wear this in a layered look. You can put this over your jean jacket. Not right now, but hold on to this until the next couple of seasons and I'll be able to work this in my wardrobe. So that's another thing. It's so hard for me to not keep things at the thrift store even if it's for the next season that's probably the best time to thrift thrift a season ahead um my last find my last find i got a pair of jimmy chews mm -hmm. i got a pair of jimmy chews i have not taken the little clamp out at this particular thrift store they clamp the shoes with this little metal hook. And I really have to just take my time and do it with a like a little piece, a little small pliers. But this is black suede. Um, they actually added um, a protector on the tip of the toe. But look at these. These are beautiful Jimmy Choo's black suede pump. And something like this will never go out of style. This is why I cannot help but not purchase these things because it's getting too good. It's just getting too good. Guys, if you have enjoyed some of these finds that I've shared, please click like, share, tell a friend to subscribe. You got to subscribe and come over. 
come over. Check out 1013vintage.com. I'm also on Instagram at 1013vintage. And if you want to see some of my personal style, um, it's under Clancy Victor. I'll put everything under the description. And if you guys are interested in watching another video, click in one of these corners. And until then, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.